spoiler alert, this holiday season, Mariah Carey wants more money. Oh, oh <laughs> no. Because yeah. if you haven't heard, she applied to trademark the title <laughs> Queen of Christmas so what? that only she could mm-hmm. benefit from it and anybody else who tried to use it, she could sue them. And wow. How'd that go for her, Jeffrey? Well, first of all, mm-hmm. you should know she wanted to use that on like branding her music, her clothing, alcohol, dog collars, Jeez. even caramel corn. Look at this. Oh. All I want for Christmas, caramel corn. It's so, gourmet. Yeah. She wants it to be her holiday. Yeah, right. Wow. I mean, move over, baby Jesus. Here yeah. comes Mariah. In fact, we don't say Merry Christmas anymore. We say Merry Mariah Carey. Uh, yeah, we oh, say yeah. Mariah Christmas. Because yeah. this, is, this is what Christmas is really all about. T-shirts, coffee mugs, and lawsuits over word usage. <laughs> but yeah, it is the season. Unfortunately for the self-proclaimed queen of Christmas, oh, no. her request got denied. Oh, oh no. Crying into her caramel corn. Oh, definitely. <laughs> but the thing is, did she give up? No. No, she did not. That's right. Oh. That's why Mariah is a winner. Holiday spirit. She tried again. This time with Princess Christmas. Oh. <laughs> okay. I like that. She's just going down the royal line. Yeah. <laughs> she's gonna be the jester. She's the Duke of Christmas. And what happened? Got denied again. Ah. Ah. Sorry, Mariah. Princess. I gotta know? say, I agree with the choice. Though. What about Lady in Waiting? Could we do that one for <laughs> Christmas her? Lady I'm just trying waiting. to think of some other. Yeah, we're, we're gonna veto that one. Oh. It's just not the right thing to do because it's not fair to monopolize Christmas. Christmas is for everyone. Yeah. Everyone yeah. except uh-huh. my people, the Jews. Oh. Yeah, exactly. We are not allowed to celebrate. No, you can celebrate. No, we're not even allowed to look at Christmas decorations. What? I thought you had a Christmas tree typically up in your house. But I have to close my eyes the entire yeah. time. I'm not allowed to actually make eye contact with it. I have to run by Mall Santa in the mall, too. It's hard. Oh, I'm yes. sorry. So don't wish me Merry Christmas no. this year. Rules for you. Can you be the menorah prince? <laughs> <laughs> That's a great idea. I'm going to try and trademark I that. Love it. Anyway. Prince Dreidel. Sorry. Send your, what's the word? Send, uh, condolences. Send your to... condolences in for Mariah's not being named the yeah, Queen of Christmas. Send them to us. We'll forward them to her. Yeah. 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 Anyway. Like that. Now it's time to move on to the shock collar question of the day. And that's a really festive thing, to shock each other with Yay. dog collars. That's the true spirit of Christmas. So, Jake, get us in the spirit of Christmas. What are we doing today? Don't look now, but it's the holiday season. I can't Yay. look. I'm Jeffrey. legally not allowed to. Why I said Where's the blindfold? <laughs> when Christmas music is being played, festive foods are being eaten, and Jose takes his Christmas tree out from its storage space here in our dirty studio Yay. and moves it back into his dirty and now wax-covered apartment. Yeah, thanks, Alexis. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> and while those are things a lot of people look forward to, there's plenty of Grinches, Scrooges, and young Jeffreys out there <laughs> who are not so keen on the big day. Mm. Yeah. And that's why a new survey asked a thousand people for complaints people make about Christmas every year. Oh, oh. that's interesting. Now this is Christmas, not just any holiday. Okay. I have the top five answers in front of me, and you'll need to guess them in a holiday edition of Unglued Family Feud. <laughs> Right. We'll start with the man voted sexiest Yule log of 2014. Mm. It's young Jeffrey. I don't want to know. <laughs> Jeff, name some complaints people have about the Christmas holiday specifically. <laughs> oh, where do I be? <laughs> okay. uh, Start it somewhere else. <laughs> but something that's always been a pain, I think, for a lot of people, you can't get rid of them unsolicited Christmas carolers singing outside of my house. Oh, do they still go they come, here? They're, they're How in certain that? neighborhoods, they do that. They're taunting me out there with their songs. And everybody <laughs> thinks that they're better than they are at uh-huh. singing. Oh, yeah. One oh. person is always off key. Okay, yeah. Karaoke King is actually what your name should be. Yeah. 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 It's yeah. hard for me not to go full Simon Cowell on those people <laughs> when they sing at me. I'm like, awful. I can see they're about to get started and Jeffrey's like, all right, hold on, pulls out a conductor wand. Yeah. All right, and a one and a two. So I'm going to go with unsolicited Christmas carolers ah. outside your home, <laughs> Jack. Wow. You. Unsolicited Christmas carolers is not on my list. Oh. Oh. Shocking, Jeff. Really? <laughs> Let's go over to Alexis. Complaints about Christmas. Mm, I'm just thinking oh, Christmas is just so much money. Mm, and that's my, what I was my, thinking. My, my little brother is like 12 and he sent me things he wants me to buy our cat for Christmas and it was your $600 cat? worth of cat oh, toys. Oh, for patches. Yes, that he wants. Like a hammock <laughs> and all this stuff and it's so much money. You have to buy a cat hammock. That is so <laughs> cute. His cat doesn't care. <laughs> I mean, it is commercialism at its finest. Absolutely. Right? Yeah. yeah. So I'm just going to go expensive, Jake. Expensive? It's number one on the list. Yay. Hmm. Move over to Jose. 
I was thinking about Christmas music. Mm, yeah. Like yeah. once it starts, I'm like, yay! It's you know, Christmas is here. I normally it starts in like November or October. I don't care. It can mm-hmm. start whenever. But people hate it. I absolutely love it. I think mm-hmm. it's a must. But I'm gonna say people complain about Christmas music. Christmas music is not on my wow. list. Wow. That's shocking. Two Shock. musical guesses so far. Neither on the list. Let's go over to Brooke. So. I'm just thinking, I mean, the holidays are a lot of work, right? And just the time that you spend doing this stuff. Mm -hmm. And I think outside of just shopping for presents, the other thing that you spend so much time doing is putting up and taking down decorations. Decorations. Like, my God. I love them once they're up, but it is like a full day and a half. Decorations is not on my list. Uh, Wow. Brooks kids, I know you're listening. Don't worry. Mommy's really looking forward to it this year. She's just kidding around for the radio. (laughs) They don't care. They don't pay attention (laughs) enough to know. They're like, oh, it's done. Magic. Jeffrey, you have a guess? What about, I feel like during this time of the year, the Karens really come out. Mm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But why? Why are they out? Because they want the deals. Like, they're mad that things are gone. They are really entitled at the stores. I have a coupon for this. It's a very Karen Christmas this time of year. <laughs> I want to see that movie. Tell me, are the Karens here? Karens are not here. Oh. Oh. Sorry, Jeff. Where'd they go? <laughs> Let's go over to Jose. Okay, so I know we already talked about everything is so expensive when you're shopping, but you know what else is annoying when you're shopping is the parking lots are full. Is that still the case? Because everyone does it online. Is that I, still happening? I still remember going out last year. Remember, there's still old like people malls that go are to the malls. Busy. Yeah. 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 Okay. And this is the only time of year the malls are busy. So I'm going to say full parking lots. Full parking lots or crowds? It's number four yeah. on the list. Yeah. All right, yeah, it's okay. Just so crowded. All right, what do you got, Brooke? <sighs> okay. What if it's having to host family at your house? You know, oh. and like figure out where people are sleeping and how to feed everyone. Oh, that should have been my first guess. Having to deal with family. Yeah. You're talking about your parents. You're <laughs> yeah. talking more about like all the family. I, I'm going to say hosting family. Those pesky relatives oh. were number two on the oh, list. Oh, number two. Oh, oh, that is that your answer. One. Number one, Alexis got expensive. Mm-hmm. Brooke got number two, those nosy or pesky relatives that are always around during the holidays. <laughs> number three was traffic or traveling. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. The roads are crowded. To and Airports. from people's houses. Number four was crowds. Gave that to Jose for full parking lots. And number five, Holiday food. Oh. Like fruitcake and stuff like that. Ludifisk, you know, stuff so good. Oh, yeah, yeah. Seasonal, don't like it. Every year for Hanukkah, my Aunt Esther used to bring her famous jello mold. It was horrible. Oh, oh, oh. the jello mold. Those are oh. terrible. Is there anything in the mold? <laughs> anyway, I'm going to be getting shocked today. Yeah. Somebody wanted to hear Blue Christmas by Elvis Presley. Oh, oh you're going to kill that's this. That's perfect. Jeff. Oh. I'll have a blue Whoa. Christmas. <laughs> Without you. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't hold that down. Really like, we don't have to play a song. We can just do that. <laughs> I minutes. like you two doing that. What a show. If you want to hear it again, find it online on our socials at Brooke and Jeffrey.